All right, welcome to Club Junkies. What's in the bag? Week eight for Men's League, Thursday Night Men's League. And uh, yeah, we're a little late getting this out, but I was traveling all last week. So last week recap, uh, went out, shot 38. Uh, not too bad to follow up the 34 from previous. Uh, but the 38 was kind of like a scramble in 38. I was kind of a little bit all over the place. Ended up making some pars. Uh, walked out, birdied the first hole. Thought, all right, this is going to be really good. And then uh, found a little struggle just getting the ball close to the hole. Uh, and I did not putt well at all. So uh, in terms of things that didn't go well, putter, uh, that, that TP reserve didn't putt really well with that. Uh, that was a little bit of a struggle. Even with the alignment ball, uh, I just wasn't getting the speed right. Uh, so that was a little bit of a struggle. Uh, irons I actually hit really well. The blueprint S's hit those really solid. Uh, as well as actually revitalized kind of that uh, Mizuno ST Max hybrid. I hit that uh, on, what is it, two, three, and hit it again uh, somewhere else and, and hit, honestly, three really good shots with it. Uh, the two off the tee were in the fairway, uh, and then I think I hit one, um, it might have been on the par five uh, that I hit there, laying it right up in front. So uh, really good uh, showing from that hybrid. I'm really liking that thing. The shape of it's great. So hit that really well. Uh, irons were solid. Driver, um, I only hit it uh, twice. Uh, hit a decent one uh, on six, uh, got down there. Uh, took me a while to find it, took a funny bounce, but uh, was okay. And then on eight, really hit it off the toe, and it ended up being just in the rough on the left, which was really good. Uh, it had kind of a heavy draw to it, but uh, it stayed in bounce and stayed in play, and I was able to kind of knock a, a little layup down there and uh, and make par. So that was really solid. But uh, the other one, too, that was really surprising, the Vokey 58.L grind. That L grind's really good. Uh, it, it plays a little bit more balance than I thought it would for being 4 degrees. Uh, and really, just overall, was a solid, solid wedge. I like that grind a lot. You can open the face, you can play it open, you can kind of play it shut. It's super versatile. Uh, so I was a big fan of uh, that wedge as well. So for week 8, uh, I almost didn't play this week. <laughs> I almost have uh, uh, another thing going on, but I'm going to go play. So we'll start at the top as usual, and honestly, we're going to go uh, the Callaway Triple Max, or the, the Triple Diamond Max, so the AI Smoke Triple Diamond Max. Uh, it's a 10.5 head, heavyweight in the back. We're going to go back with this bad boy. I hit it really well uh, re recently, so I want to go throw it in again. We're going to go a little different shaft. Uh, we're going to go the Graphite Design Tour AD VF, uh, so we're going to see if we can maybe just hit it a touch lower uh, than before and see how that uh, works out. I think this is going to be a really good combo. We're playing the back, back nine, so going to hit driver a handful more times than uh, we do on the front. Uh, but I think uh, with this shaft combo, it could be really, really solid. And then we go to three wood, and three wood we're going to go back to the old QI-10 Tour. This is uh, a three wood that initially, beginning of the year, I started hitting and really, really liked it. And then I've been hitting a bunch of other three woods, and uh, it's kind of a, a little bit of a battle between this uh, and the standard QI-10. The standard QI-10, once I put that Link uh, blue shaft in it, really kind of upped the, the performance. This has been really good. Weight kind of like in the center, maybe just one slot back. And uh, it's been really good. It's got a Ventus, uh, Fujikura Ventus 7X. But this thing's been really solid. I like how, you know, the titanium face is hot. It feels good, sounds good. And I think it's honestly more forgiving than most people give it credit for. So uh, we'll go uh, put this bad boy back in the bag uh, because I do like hitting that. And then for the kind of utility area, we're going to go back to the old Ping 7 wood. Uh, I was hitting the Paradigm one uh, earlier in the week, and I really like that. But let's go back to the old tried and true Ping. Uh, this could be used on the par 5. Uh, could also be used on like the 15th hole. So it's got a couple different shots that it could hit. I'm, I'm probably going to hit on the T on 9. Uh, so this will be uh, pretty solid there. And this thing is starting to take the lead over the other 7 woods. It's just super forgiving. It's super easy to hit. It launches high. It lands super soft. And this one, of course, has the Fujikura Ventus TR Blue 8 Stiff. Uh, and this one here is just a great combo. I mean, mid-launch, kind of mid to mid-slightly low-launch shaft uh, in a high-launching head. Just a ton of control. Easy to hit. Then, for irons, of course, I always mix it up. The 4-iron is going to go back to the old Ping I Crossover Utility. This thing, I mean... I wish it looked a little better, I wish it sounded a little better, but I'll tell you what, it just performs. It's easy to hit the ball high, it goes far, it's pretty forgiving, uh, it just maybe sounds a, a, a touch firmer and clickier than you'd like, uh, and it's got a little more offset than you like, but I tell you what, the thing just flat out works. So it's going to go in there, and this has got the LA Golf uh, A-Series low 105s in it. Uh, these things are stiff flex, and this one's built just a little bit longer, so when I hit it off the tee, I can play it full length, and if I'm hitting like a four iron shot, uh, I'll choke down just about a half inch on it and play it as a true 
four iron. Um, that irons, we're going to go back to some old, uh, old faithful, some ones that I haven't hit in a while, and I, I don't really like these irons, but these are going to be the PXG 0317Ts, or Tours. I know they've kind of changed names a few times on PXG's website, but these things are the hollow body irons, a little hotter face on them. They are foam filled, but when you set them down or look at them, they look much like a blade. They kind of look like a player's club. And it's just kind of that cheater look that I really like. You can set it down, you think you're kind of playing a, uh, a kind of like a forge cavity or something like that, but instead you're playing a hollow body that gives you some forgiveness and some speed, uh, which is really nice. These things are super soft. I think they look really good at a dress. And these are shafted up with the same LA Golf A-Series Low 105s. Uh, these have been really good shafts matched up with here. I think they, uh, you know, even though they say low launch, I think they're closer to mid. Uh, they're still easy to get up in the air, still easy to elevate. They've been super consistent, uh, super accurate, and they have a nice kind of lively kick to them uh, at impact as well. So these are going to be a, a good set. I've liked these a lot. I just haven't hit them in a little bit, hitting other things, <clears throat> but I like them. And then wedges, we're going to go to the uh, the starting wedge set. We're going to call in the uh, the righties, and we're going to go the SM10s. Uh, so that we got a 50 uh, at 12 F. So this is going to be the high bounce 50 degree that they make. Uh, F grind is the full sole. So great for square shots, full shots, stuff like that. It's got the old club junkie, uh, stamping on it. Uh, and these are all raw and these are shafted up with, uh, Nippon Modus tour 105 stiffs. Uh, but these things have been really good. I mean, I got fit for these uh, out at TPI and they've been really solid. I just have been messing with other wedges. Uh, so that's the 50, and then the 56 is the 14 F grind, and again, I went, you know, quite a more full sole, higher bounce, it's soft up here in, in Detroit, I get a little steep, I get a little over the top and steep with it, so having more bounce always definitely helps, and then around the green we always have, kind of have lush, uh, you know, lush, deep, rough, and if the ball's sitting up at all, sometimes it just helps to have a, a little more rough to get, a little more bounce to get through that, not have the, the wedge slide underneath, uh, but these things are great, they, they, you know, they, Play well. This one again, raw, a little BK stamping on it. Uh, that title is did for me. Uh, but this is again shafted up, Nippon Modus 105 stiff. And then finally for the wedges, uh, the 60 degree, which is the 60 degree 10 S grind. So again, kind of fuller sole, a little bit of trailing edge relief, so you can open it up just a little bit on a tighter lie. Um, this 60, when I got fit in for it, I was actually fit between this and the T grind, which is really interesting to me. Uh, but hit really hit, hit well, uh, hit them belt both well. The 60 with the S just was a little better in the softer conditions. We found like a really wet spot at TPI, and this just actually performed a little bit better. Um, but really like this wedge. Uh, again, shafted up with the Nippon Modus 105. Uh, and this one has my little uh, 2003 Seraglio Champion uh, stamp on it that I did myself uh, to basically commemorate being a captain last year in our little guys Ryder Cup style match and my team having a dominant win. <clears throat> and then putter, we're going to go definitely with something new. We're going to go with the Ping PLD Answer 2D. So this is the Answer 2. Uh, it's got the big kind of wider flange on it uh, that you can see. And it's just kind of a wider, blockier look. I really like the look of these type of blades. <clears throat> just being a little bit wider, having that more squared off look. It's very similar to the BB-8W that I played almost all of last year and a little bit before that. Nice deep mill on it. It's got a nice soft feel. And this one's sh shafted up with a KBS Tour GPS 120. And it's got a Lampkin deep etch grip on it in gray. Uh, this is a nice combo. I like this thing a lot. Um, I putted pretty well with it the first time I took it out and then just haven't taken it out in a while. But <clears throat> after yesterday's high toe hang putter uh, kind of fail last week, uh, we're gonna go something with just a little bit more traditional toe hang. So excited to get this out there. I like kind of like the tri sole on it as well, uh, but it's just a really nice putter. It's got a nice balance to it. And this is at 33 inches. So it's short for uh, this guy here. Um, and then ball wise, uh, I think I'm going to go ahead and give the new Bridgestone Tour B the uh, the the start. Um, I, I haven't really messed with that ball. I don't know if I'm going to grab the mindset or not. We'll decide here in just a second because it's almost time to get ready to go. But uh, we'll do one of those two in the Tour B. Uh, so that is the what's in the bag for week eight. I'm excited to get out and play. It's a beautiful day out. A little windy, uh, but it's a nice warm day. So uh, it should be a good one. So check back next week. We'll see how we did. And we'll give you week nine. What's in the bag?